We often get criticised on this channel for giving automakers attention when they simply announce a new model or reveal a concept car, only to say it will launch a few years down the line. How can you trust these vehicles will come to market, we're asked. Stop giving attention to vaporware! BMW is one company that's regularly accused of not being super serious about plug-in vehicles, primarily because its i3 hasn't sold in massive volumes around the world to date, its i8 is just a halo car, and instead of making BMW electric models part of its mainstream lineup, BMW has relegated them to its i brand instead. And to date, the only plug-in models sold under the mainstream BMW badge were plug-in hybrids with limited all-electric ranges. Over the past few years, BMW has committed to a fully electric future, promising a series of all-new electric models under the main BMW badge, as well as plug-in hybrid variants of more of its internal combustion-engined cars. As part of this, we've seen a slew of new concept cars unveiled at auto shows, including the BMW Vision Next, BMW Vision i Next, BMW i Next, BMW Vision Dynamics, and others. This has, some might say rightly, caused some electric car fans to question just how seriously BMW is thinking about plug-in vehicles. Concept cars never make it to production, they say, and BMW is, like everyone else, dragging its feet. But earlier this week, BMW showcased how serious it is about plug-in cars by showing working prototypes of its BMW iX3, BMW i4, and BMW i Next undergoing winter testing in the Arctic. While BMW hasn't detailed a lot of specifications yet, it does confirm one very important thing. BMW is bringing all three of these vehicles to production soon, and now they're very much more than just a concept car. And that's Good news indeed, although I should note each car is in a different level of market readiness, uh, but I'll explain. Like the teaser video for the Mini Electric, which BMW released earlier this year, the teasers for the BMW iX3, BMW i4 and BMW i Next are clearly designed to get potential customers excited about the performance and the ultimate driving machine that's really possible with electric power. They show each vehicle driving at speed on ice tracks far north of the Arctic Circle. There's a lot of action and a lot of drifting, which is certainly a departure from how electric cars have been traditionally showcased by the general automotive industry in the past. In its press release showcasing these videos, BMW says the iX3, which is due to come to market next year, uses the fifth generation of BMW's electric vehicle drivetrain. While BMW still hasn't given us an official spec sheet, it does say we can look forward to charging speeds of 150 kilowatts at compatible DC quick charging stations, as well as a range in excess of 400 kilometers per charge, according to the WLTP test cycle. As we've seen quite a bit of the iX3 already, the prototype iX3 in the new video wears the least amount of camouflage and, to my eyes, certainly looks very close to production ready. Based on what the video shows, there seems to be very little body roll as well as the iX3 takes each corner with lots of opposite lock dialed in, which, given the winter testing was meant to put the power electronics battery pack and suspension control systems through their paces, tells me I think that BMW has had a lot of success. The BMW i4 is due to follow the iX3 to market a year after the iX3 is launched, with production due to begin in Germany in 2021. BMW is promising a range of over 600 kilometers on the WLTP test cycle, while dialing in a 0 to 100 kilometer sprint time of four seconds. That's slower than some cars out there, but it's important to note that it's a smidge quicker than the 100 kph sprint time of BMW's petrol-guzzling M4 Coupe, although the M4 does still have it beat on top speed because the i4 is electronically limited to 200 kph. The version of the i4 testing in the Arctic is clearly a lot less futuristic in its outside appearance than the Vision Dynamics concept it's based upon. But I should caution here that I don't think this is the final version of the production car. Instead, I think it's a test mule riding inside a 4 Series. Why? Well, there are a few giveaways. First, the car in the video looks very close to a full series in its design. And second, the battery pack is noticeable at the side of the car, which seems to be lacking any kind of side skirt. The iNex prototype we're shown appears to be in the same boat as the i4, a pre-production test mule that's maybe based on existing BMW stock with an all-electric in it. 
We saw photos of the same car testing a few months ago, but this is the first time we've seen it on video in icy conditions. Again, BMW hasn't teased specs, but it's also due to enter production in 2021, sharing the same fifth generation drivetrain as the iX3 and the i4. What we can tell you, however, thankfully, is that it looks a whole lot more conventional than the design of that wacky concept car BMW flew around the world in a cargo plane. Of course, having cars in winter testing in the Arctic doesn't mean that they're production ready yet, but it does show that these three vehicles are closer to production than some had believed. Why were three of them all testing together? Well, while they won't come to market at the same time, I'd guess it's because they all share the same fifth generation drivetrain technology, and it makes sense to test the battery packs and motors at the same time from both a staff efficiency and a management standpoint. Do you like what you're seeing thus far from these new BMW plugins? Do you want to know more? And would you consider buying one when they come to market? Let me know in the comments below. That's it. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you liked it or you didn't like it below. Scribble a comment, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a single episode. And if you'd like to support us and the channel, then you can follow one of the three links below to help you do just that. I'll be back soon with more episodes, but until that point, keep evolving.